What's up guys, it's Robert, you're watching Gent Style. Today I've got some dress shoes here that I am going to be polishing. As you could see, the one on the left has not been polished at all. It looks honestly pretty rough in my opinion. And then the shoe here on the right, I started this one a few days ago and as you can see, it has a good mirror shine. You can see the reflection very well. Uh, so I thought I would do a video going over kind of some of the steps because I feel like my mirror shines have been taking a lot less time. So wanted to make a longer video today uh, to show you guys how to do so. So let's get into it. And before we start, here's just an example of a pair of shoes. These are Johnson & Murphy's. These are also Johnson & Murphy's. I got these from the consignment store as well as these ones, Newman & Company here in Indianapolis, Indiana. But uh, as you can see, very nice shine on them. Very, very beautiful. So I'm gonna set these off to the side and then we are going to get into shining these shoes. So the first thing that you're gonna need when you're mirror shining shoes is some sort of chamois or cloth. They make expensive ones, but I don't recommend you get the expensive ones. Just take your old beat up dress shirts, cut them uh, up into like little slivers like this. This one is not cut evenly, but as you can see, uh, it will get the job done and has been used before plenty of times. Next thing you're gonna need is a cream polish. This is by Saphir and it is black because we're doing black shoes. The cream polish is really good for polishing the entire shoe. It's not gonna give you a super glossy finish like this product, the Saphir Mirror Gloss. Can't even say it. So the Saphir Mirror Gloss is a little bit higher quality of a product. It's uh, more expensive than just the typical offerings from Saphir, but it does a really good job of establishing that shine up front. And then the final thing that we're gonna use is just some Kiwi Saddle Soap. This is really good for cleaning the shoe because as you could see on this pair here, there's kind of like some dirt and debris and things that are in the shoe. So uh, we're definitely gonna need to give this a good cleaning before we start. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do is just grab a towel. I've already cleaned, disinfected the inside of the shoe. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just crack this open and we're gonna, whoa, we're gonna, Try not to drop anything else. Another thing you're gonna need is some sort of alcohol. This is just a water and alcohol mixture. I think I did one fourth alcohol and three fourths uh, water. So just a little mix and I'm just gonna spray just a little bit of that in there to get that moist. And then we're gonna take this and just get a little bit. You don't wanna overdo it. And then I'm just gonna start cleaning off the shoe This step is super important because you wanna get all those pieces of dirt uh, or grime, whatever you wanna call them, off of the shoe. Your cloth should be pretty dirty when you're done doing this. And I usually do not put a whole lot on here. I just do enough to get kind of all the stuff that I can visibly see off of the shoe to really get it clean, so. Make sure you get the back as well. Then I'm just gonna take a brush and start brushing this off. I'm gonna put just a little bit more cause I'm seeing like a kind of weird texture on the tip. So I wanna make sure that the shoe is really clean. So it's almost, it's kind of hard to see, but there's almost like a weird print or something on the shoe kind of in this area. Um, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to get rid of that. Again, I got these for like $20 on eBay, so they're a pretty ex inexpensive dress shoe. Okay, so now that the shoe is clean, I'm gonna go ahead and just move to putting on some of the cream for the shoe. So we're gonna crack that open and I'm just gonna use my finger for this. We're gonna just rub this in on every aspect of the shoe. It's almost like these shoes have never been worn. Uh, the sole is really good on them as well. So uh, I got a really good deal on these. So once we got a good even coat, the next thing I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm gonna use this one. Uh, I have two brushes just for no reason. I'm gonna use this one 
first. And I'm not applying a lot of pressure. I'm keeping this very light. It's one thing that a lot of guys mess up when they're shining shoes is they think they need to be shining the shoe really hard and that's really just unnecessary. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, I'm just gonna wipe off the surface here and I probably should have got some sort of mat or something to do this on, but I really don't do that. So uh, we're gonna set this off to the side and then <clears throat> grab one of the chamois and crack open the good old polish. So I'm just gonna fold this over a few layers and then give it a solid wrap around my finger you want a flat surface right here. That's super important, very flat surface. Then I'm just gonna apply a little bit with my finger to the surface of the tip. I, al I always only do the tip, and I'm actually, I'm gonna unwrap this. I like to use this finger a little bit more. The reason why I only tend to polish the tip is because I found that when I do the back, it gets bumped up a lot against a lot of stuff, and so, Polishing the tip usually has done very well for me. But, um, you know, I really don't suggest going out of the house without an unpolished dress shoe because when you polish your dress shoe, it shows that you care about the extra steps and that's a really important detail that you don't wanna miss. So now I'm gonna start shining the shoes and again, got the tip of this wrapped up. The first thing that I consider, uh, the first thing that I avoid, I don't use the water to start off. And when I do use the water, I use just a little bit. The first few kind of swirls that I give this are without any kind of moisture. I just want to get a, a nice base established. And I'm going very light pressure, you know, not super hard. I'm just going in circular motions. This is going to really start to uh, build up the shine of the shoe. So as you can see, we've lost a lot of that initial um, polish that we put on before, which is not a bad thing. So as you can see, we're getting a little further along the line in the polish of the shoe. The next thing I'm gonna do is start implementing some of this water into the shine. So I'm just gonna give it another coat here and very thin coats. You don't wanna overdo it and the polish broke off right there. Then I'm just gonna hit this with just a little bit of water, just a little, and we're gonna give this a good spinning. And you wanna to try to get all around the shoe. You don't wanna focus on one area in particular. So one thing you'll notice is I'm putting more polish around the tip or the top of the shoe and just a little bit of the tip because those are really the spots where you're gonna see the shine really come through. Again, just a little bit of moisture. And always make sure you're going towards a clean side of the chamois.
So it's always good to take a stop and just evaluate like how you're coming. So we're starting to get some reflection. It's still not quite where I want it to be. So I'm just gonna continue this process a little bit further. Very light coats, very light coats. I've seen some people who actually melt the polish and I'm gonna switch chamois. Uh, once I feel that the chamois is getting a little bit too moist, I like to switch so that we don't get any kind of weird defects on the shine. So another really important thing to do once you're shining is to start to compare it to the other shoe. And I'm seeing a pretty good reflection, but we're still not all the way there. So I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. We're getting very close though, I can tell. Just needs a few more coats to really bring out the, the shine. I think we're starting to get there, guys. It's getting a really good shine to it. Uh, I'm really starting to like the result of this polish so far. I think it's um, coming along. I'm gonna hit it maybe just one more time because I could see my mouth moving. I could see the reflection. So we're gonna give it one more coat and then I'm gonna kind of treat this rest of the body just a little bit more. So this is the lightest coat I think I've put on there. Uh, really not trying to overdo it on these shoes. Okay guys, I think we're there. Let me again compare it to the second shoe. Uh, I think the shine is starting to look good. As you can see, we got a nice reflection going. I'm gonna hold this up to the camera so you could see. Uh, we've got a really solid reflection going on both pair of the shoes. So I think we are just about there. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna, I think I might hit it just one more time. I like my shoes to really shine. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop because you could literally do this all day and not you know, get a better result. So one thing I always say is, uh, if you're mirror shining shoes, expect to do it once, but go back over it the next day. Uh, that's the thing that I did with this first pair of shoes. Um, the shine is pretty similar, but I think we're gonna hit this again tomorrow. Again, nice reflection, but not quite as good as the one on the right. So uh, I'm gonna definitely hit this pair again tomorrow and give it more of a finished glazing over. But for today, I think we have achieved a lot better of a result. And this is something you could definitely wear. Oftentimes I've done shoes and I've never been able to get the second one as good as the first. So as long as they're pretty close, you're gonna not have any issues. People are still gonna notice that you mirror shine the shoe. but. Uh, I think these pair really turned out great. These are a great pair of Johnson & Murphys. I really like these. I like the last of the shoe, the cut of these. And I love the fact that the leather is high quality because if you could get a mirror shine on the shoe, then typically it's a higher quality leather that they used versus a cheaper department store. So again, very nice polish on the shoes. I'm very happy with the way they turned out. Thank you guys for watching today's episode of Gent Style. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And with that being said, I'm Robert, this is Gent Style, and I'll see you in the next video.